lot of trucks. You just gotta love them. Hey, this is Graham and welcome back to another car review. Today we are driving a 1991 Toyota pickup truck and I'm really excited about this review and I'm not sure why. I've just always had a soft spot for these trucks. I couldn't tell you why on earth that's the case, um, but something about small pickup trucks is just fun to me and this truck Specifically, uh, it belongs to my buddy Dylan, who you guys have seen on the channel before. This truck of his is so immaculate. I mean, it looks like it just rolled off the showroom floor. Um, and it is, I mean, it's like a step back in time. Um, but this truck is a three liter V6, uh, 91 Toyota pickup, AKA the Hilux, which is what it was branded in Europe and Japan. Um, and it, of course, is the predecessor to the Tacoma here in America. And it is, I mean, this truck is awesome. Uh, this is the third generation that they were offered in four-wheel drive. And it is the fifth generation of the Toyota pickup truck. Um, and it is just phenomenal. I mean, the paint looks immaculate. Uh, almost everything is period correct as well. So... I think what's really cool about this truck is that it kind of pioneered a lot of advancements to the pickup trucks. Like this truck has independent suspension up front, which was a very new thing. It was introduced in 1985. So this was, it was still very new to trucks, uh, to off-road vehicles. And of course it really kind of vamped up the off-road capabilities of the truck. Um, and of course, helped the ride quality, made it more comfortable, made it a little bit more practical. Um, the truck also, of course, has Bilstein shocks on it, which really kind of helped the ride quality, uh, helped the truck's capability, uh, and kind of bring it into the new age. Um, Bilstein makes great shocks, we all know that. Um, so it's it's nice to have some quality component. It kind of says a lot about Dylan too. It's he likes to put the best parts into his cars and this truck, I mean, this truck definitely gets that treatment as well. Um, and it really shows the truck. I mean, it is immaculate. Everything's clean, uh, inside out under the hood. Everything is just spotless. The only thing that I can see, visually see wrong with this truck is this slight tear in the seat over here, but otherwise everything looks great. And I mean, like I said, this truck is a complete step back in time. Everything's original. Original steering wheel, original dashboard. Um, the radio is has been switched, but aside from that, everything's exactly how it was from the factory uh, 27 years ago. Um, and this truck is 27 years old. Keep that in mind. I, can't, I cannot get over just how nice this truck actually is. Uh, and it does have 150,000 miles on it. And this truck came from Alaska, which is just crazy. It's been driven across the United States. Um, and just the whole story behind this truck, I can't believe, it, it makes me just so surprised just how nice this truck is all the way around. Um, and this truck's been in Dylan's family for its entire life. Um, so really it's, it's a part of the family. And I feel like that's kind of what a Toyota truck becomes regardless of the story behind it. Um, because they're just, they're, they're workhorses and they're just meant to just be not really beat on, but just used. Um, and that's, that's what these trucks are just great for. And like I said, this truck has the three liter V6, which is not Toyota's most famous engine. Uh, because it does have some head gasket issues occasionally. Um, this truck in particular has not, but uh, it is something that you should watch out for if you are buying a Toyota truck with the three liter. Um, but this also has the five speed manual and it is, it's so easy to drive. Uh, the, the throws are huge because it is after all a truck and the shifter is on the floor. Um, but the clutch is really easy. It's very forgiving. I mean, it, it's it's just a nice place to be. It's a nice truck to drive. Um, 
And I can't, there's nothing I can say bad about this truck. Everything is just so well put together. I mean, absolutely nothing rattles in here. It's a 27 year old truck. And I mean, everything, most everything's made out of plastic or like soft touch uh, plastic or vinyl or, and nothing squeaks or rattles. It's just so, it's buttoned down. And I'm sure some of that can be attributed to Dylan taking care of it, but I think it's also, it, it also speaks for Toyota's build quality uh, that a 27 year old truck is just so well put together uh, and everything still works. And it is just, it's incredible. It really is incredible. And of course it is very analog, all of this truck. Uh, I mean, you don't even have power windows. You don't have air conditioning, but that's less to go wrong. Um, which, you know, that makes for a better experience in my opinion. So I've just been absolutely blown away driving this truck. It is, it's staggering. And like I said, I was super excited about this review. Uh, and it has lived up and exceeded all of my expectations for it. So I guess that's all I've got for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this one because I know I certainly did. Uh, I love driving old cars like this, old trucks like this, anything. Uh, it's not, it's fun to take a step back in time um, and just kind of experience these older cars for what they are, their simplicity. Um, and it's just, it's so nice. But I guess with that, I'm going to wrap it up. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, take it easy. Bye.